When you're done coding your page, I'm going to want you to go to the HTML outliner. I've given you a link to that in the course documents. And this is where you're going to go. It's also in the book. You'll take your page, which you should have uploaded, copy, and paste the URL. Then choose outline this and this is going to be my outline for my sample page. Now I tend to use Jing to take images off the screen. It's my favorite, it's free, but you can also use the, sn the snipping tool in Windows or the screen capture tool in the Mac. With Jing, which you can search for, it's J-I-N-G, it's a free plugin, you can just draw what you want choose to save it by choosing Captured Image and I'm just going to name it Outline and for right now I'm going to save this just to my desktop. Now to embed it in Canvas you're going to go into your own personal file and you're going to go to Files and I've got a few things here and I'm going to choose add file and I'm going to go into my desktop and choose my outline image and it comes in as a PNG ping. I choose open and that should add it in here. Here it is. Okay good. So now I can go back to my course and right now that's web scripting. It's going on, undergoing a name change, so you may be watching this when it is HTML and CSS. And then it's going to be in the HTML structure discussion. And I'm going to reply to it. Now you're going to need to talk a little bit about what you did. Put in your link, copy and paste your link in and you can hit enter that makes it an actual link and to insert your image you'll click on your image here find it from canvas your own personal files you can see the other thing I've been working on is iPhone programming grab your image and hit update now if this is too big it will let you just resize it from the corners so you can make it a little bit smaller. Please leave it a somewhat readable size. That looks good. Post reply and then you'll have your link and your image and if you would say a few sentences about it, did you have any difficulties with this, what did you think of the outliner, etc. So that's how you hand in the image of your outline in the discussion. And anytime we're doing images that you hand in on the discussion, this is the way I'd prefer to see it.